there was a, a quartet of words that my friend Greg Daniels carved into the back of his chair at one point because they came up so often in the story breaking process. And the words are stakes, motivations, escalations, turns. And I can tell you what he meant by those and why he arrived at them. It was after doing eight seasons of King of the Hill, uh, he realized that when his stories went well, uh, it was because the stakes, escalations, motivations, and turns were clear. And when they went poorly, it was because uh, something was amiss in that area. Stakes is pretty obvious. Uh, it's what executives are always asking for. What are the stakes? What is, what is the character? What does the character have to gain or lose that is meaningful to him or her? Motivations is a variation of stakes. Motivations uh, could be psychological. I, I, might, I might have very little at stake in this chess tournament. I'm not going to win or lose any money, but psychologically, my father always said that I've got to be good at chess. That would be a motivation. Just a variation on stakes. Escalations, uh, well, that's uh, when the stakes rise significantly. Uh, in the course of your story, you have an escalation. And turns are when your stake or motivation changes. Now, the thing that's important to recognize about turns, turns are not essential. You do not have to have turns in your story. But if the character's motivation turns or changes, you must show that turn to the audience. You can't refer to it off screen or you have a problem in your story. That's why I got carved in the chair. Make sure you show your turns if you have them. It's okay for a character to change what he or she wants. You go into a chess tournament and fall in love. That's perfectly acceptable in a story. But you've got to show that that has happened on screen. 